ever heard of budget trip to Maldives? I bet you didn't. So watch till the end of this video to know, is it possible? <laughs> so, Namaskaram everyone, this is Satya Aka Water Soul and welcome to my YouTube page and I'll be reporting from Maldives the next 5 days. I am travelling with Gold Travels and yeah, now we are going to Difushi Island in the internal transfers that was already organised by them. So, chalo. Just landed in Difushi Island. Now, we have come to Beach House Difushi and yeah, so I've got this and let me change the dress to show this beautiful place. Whenever you think of Maldives, the first thing that comes into mind is luxury. But what if you can explore Maldives in budget? <laughs> Here's where Gold Maldives comes into picture. Offering you beautiful beach house stay without compromising with the views. This is Difushi Island in Maldives with a lot of water activities that you can do. But for now, let's explore our stay, see beach house Difushi. Wondering where my room is? So this is my beach view room. With a beautiful view. Good morning everyone from Beach House Difushi in Maldives. <laughs> so yeah, this is day 2 and now I'm having my breakfast and this is vegetarian breakfast. So they actually give you non-veg breakfast also like which is very exotic but because I'm vegetarian so this is my plate. And yeah, this looks nice as well. Hmm. So uh, yesterday was completely about enjoying the stay, taking some rest obviously after the entire travel and also exploring the beaches nearby so this is the beach that you have exactly in front of our uh, stay and we can do snorkeling here so yesterday i did some snorkeling which i which i would have posted already so let me have the breakfast and today is all about doing some activities so we'll see what all activities that we'll be covering in the bushy island today now we are going to explore this Difushi island. So this part is the one end of the island and this other end as well. So uh, we'll go now to check out. So these two are beaches here and let's see what else is there on the other side and next we'll do some activities. For now let's go check out. I bought this bride and it's two dollars. <laughs> So now we have come to explore the jetty side of the island. This is the same place where we got yesterday. Uh, <laughs> you can see there's beautiful blue waters all around. So you come to Maldives for beautiful blue waters, like not for the luxury stay. <laughs> so yeah, uh, it is called Maldives. It uh, has the biggest uh, natural swimming pool. So come swim here and yeah, stay in budget properties also. So that is how you can uh, reduce your uh, trip cost and enjoy maximize my maximize your enjoyment. And so here's where the diffusion is written. Like uh, back at our place, we have I love Vizag, uh, the things like that, right? So here's where uh, K Diffushi is written. So this is one part of the island. The other part is to be viewed in sunset because it has beautiful sunset view. So. There we'll go in the evening, but now we have a different activity to do, which is a surprise for you guys. I mean, you'll be revealed in two or three minutes later. <laughs> so let's go back to our beach house and get ready for the next activity. 
So now we are all set for the next activity which is <laughs> shark snorkeling. So let's go. On our way back, we sighted some dolphins. I know many of you have this dream of having candlelight dinner in Maldives by the beach. <laughs> so now, Gold Travels is here to fulfill that dream of yours by providing this candlelight dinner in the itinerary. So I'm having some amazing and delicious dinner by the beach, enjoying the beach sounds and the skyline. I guess you have seen my shark snorkeling video, but then the footage uh, didn't come that good. I thought my Insta360 would do wonders there, but because it didn't have that case, dive case, so it showed some breaking near the hand. So it's fine. Uh, so I have come with my own snorkeling kit to do uh, snorkeling, free snorkeling in this uh, beach nearby in our island. So let's go. This is day 3 guys, so I have done free snorkeling in the morning and <coughs> after all the activities yesterday, I am feeling like I want to eat something fresh, so got some fruits for breakfast and now we will be going to Tulushtu Island from here and we have a ferry at 10 o'clock, actually precisely we have only 10 minutes to go, so we have to finish this breakfast and reach the uh, private boat, so they have arranged a private boat from Rifushi to uh, Tulushtu Island, so that is one thing you can have the boat all by yourself and enjoy the ride. Let's go. So, uh, we have uh, landed in uh, Tunushtu Island and we have come to explore this place because our uh, uh, stay, which is Coral Inn, is getting ready for us to check in. So, <laughs> We are here. I am ready with my explore bag to explore the beaches of Kurushtu and now we are going to surf beach. So first kidder hai. Okay, now we have come to surfers beach, but I cannot see any surfer here. All the foreigners who have come here, they bought their own surf boats from their country. So they are intelligent. <laughs> So, but we didn't have, but I thought I can just see them, some, some people at least doing, but people are not here at present. We'll check any other time if we come up. This is day 3, as we have already started. I had my breakfast in Difushi Island and in a ferry we have come to Tulushtu Island. And now we are in Koral Inn and this is my room here. And let me show you this budget room, which doesn't feel so budget at all. This is the sliding door washroom which looks so beautiful and this is the decoration that they made for me which looks again so beautiful but the best part is it has got a beach view. The beaches here are mainly for surfers so these beaches are called surfer beach and yeah surf beach but yeah as you remember i learned a little bit of surfing which i'm not going to do here of course but let me show you the beautiful view here and you enjoy the view i'll enjoy the stay so now we are in bikini beach so uh, you cannot see the swings there they were actually swings so i'm 
pretty sure I'm coming tomorrow morning to the same place and taking a lot of pictures. Like I've come to Maldives and I'm not taking water solo wale pictures. And that's why in Maldives the range is there. <laughs> so uh, tomorrow we'll do that. But now we are going to sea walk. So that is the sea walk. So let's go in the middle of the sea. Actually, you can walk also to a very long extent because the beaches in Maldives have uh, so much beach. Uh, you can walk too long. So let's go there and we'll see the view from there. Chalo. Where is the sea walk? Oh, it must be behind me. So this is Bikini Beach. Actually in Maldives, uh, you see people wearing bikinis everywhere but it's not the case. Actually only few beaches in Maldives are uh, uh, permitted to wear bikinis and the rest all you have to just wear normal kapde only. And so yeah, because it's, it's Islamic country, these rules apply. So yeah, there are surfers passing by. <laughs> I call myself on the surfer. The surfer is passing. So, okay, leave that. <laughs> so tomorrow I'll be coming here to take so many pictures. You see there, there is a Maldives swing that is like iconic Maldives picture. You have to get it. <laughs> so that is one we have to get. To, we'll get it tomorrow for sure. So tomorrow is also for completely touring around in Tulustu Islands. And the best part of these islands, these local islands, unlike those private islands, is that. These are free uh, and you can roam in all the, in all the uh, beaches and everything is similar. You have blue, I mean different blue shades of beaches and the sand is so beautiful. There I have seen so many dead corals obviously. If they have come to shore, it means they are already dead. But it's beautiful. You can color them if you are one of them. So yeah, so come to these local islands and tour around. Now we are back at the surf beach and people are surfing here so let's watch them surf. Being a surfer I should <laughs> support them as well. Come let's see. Now we have come to Sunset Beach and look at those chutlu there. Okay. Sun is already set it, setting actually. Uh, the clouds have come. But watch the sunset sky. It's so beautiful. Let's go. Oh my god, I just love the view. So now I've come to a restaurant nearby. Okay, you cannot see me. Wait. <laughs> uh, this light, this light is family. Right? Okay, this is more like spa. Ah, uh -huh, this is nice. So I ordered this drink, which is called exotic, mm. and some pasta. Yeah. And some spaghetti pasta, so tomato pasta, this veg, and that is also veg. Uh, both milake kuch 13 dollars it came to. So, yeah, I thought ki I'll spend today. I'm very happy today. The place is so beautiful. I love Tunustu Island. <laughs> so, let me taste this pasta and see how good it tastes. And there is a, a local, uh, what do you say, uh, Coca Cola factory here. So this is it's just like one of the uh, Coca-Cola factory in an island itself. So that is nice. We'll go tomorrow. So let's eat this. Mm. I love pasta. Yeah. 
Hey guys, now I am having my uh, dinner and I totally forgot to mention about this delicious food that I have been eating like <laughs> so good. Uh, so this is the food in Pearl Inn and you have a wide range of food and there's always something or other and non-vegetarians are going to just enjoy their meal. Vegetarian I can understand, there is a little bit of food but there are a lot of fruits and there is uh, so much sweets uh, like cakes, everything so it's delicious. I ate uh, dal in the afternoon and it's, it's, it's freaking good. <laughs> Good morning everyone, this is day 4 and it is officially the last day and tomorrow morning you will be just uh, travelling back to airport and today I am exploring Kulnushtu Island again, I mean uh, another part which I left yesterday it is so beautiful, I just came out in the middle of the day it is almost 10 o'clock, it's bright sunny so there is a coke factory here and at present we are in this beautiful place where all the walls are of different colors it looks so nice <laughs> so it feels a little bit like goa but yeah <laughs> it's still maldives let's go <laughs> so this is my friend coke yeah <laughs> so now we are in this coke's fa coca cola factory in this uh, uh Tulushtu island and which is the only coca cola factory that uses beach water which is like salinated water desalinates this and then makes coca cola so it's the only uh, country uh, only factory in the world that does this so that's a very huge uh, what do you say um, history about this place and so this island is called as cokes island for the same reason so yesterday i drank not yesterday uh, yeah yesterday also this is the same factory that uh, distributes Coca-Cola to other Maldives islands also. So yeah, <laughs> I have drank previous 2-3 uh, days. The Coke that I drank tasted different. Like it is not what it tasted uh, back at our places. But yeah, it was nice though. So this is the history of this place. And I'm going to take some pictures with this big Coke bottle. As you know, I love Coca-Cola. I'm going to drink some Coke as well. <laughs> So we have come to watch the sunset at Dream Beach which is very dreamy and yeah I'll just go and do snorkeling now almost the sun is gone so this is my final stop and with this our uh, Maldives vacation comes to an end so I have uh, toured around in two islands within budget with Gold Maldives and uh, this uh, whole video has been only just my travel content. I haven't included any commercial details or other contact information or anything. So, but which I'll be keeping in a separate video, which will be of a one or two minute duration, a quick video in which I'll be sharing you all the uh, details regarding the commercials, how much will it cost all around for a trip to Maldives and uh, the currency information and what else, uh, what to do in Maldives, how to tour around which you have already, how much to spend, so all of that I will be sending, uh, telling in a separate video, so do check out that video so that you can plan uh, your vacation simply just by looking at <laughs> that video and so I have, uh, I am leaving tomorrow to Bangalore back so I have to go back to uh, Malay again I will be going in a ferry which is arranged my team in uh, in Gold Maldives and after going to Malay there is a flight, I have a flight at 12 in the afternoon so I will be reaching Bangalore in the evening and yeah if you like my content do subscribe and, follow, and like and follow me on Instagram this is Watersoul signing off in Maldives bye bye